Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Great to be here with you. So excited to get into our Friday review. One of my favorite shows of the week. To me, it just seems like a relaxed show. Love being able to catch up with you, share with you some of the research that I've been looking over the week, some of the some of the in more enjoyable research, the ones that I think you can put into effect in your life right away for maybe yourself or your family. Then I always love to bring you a product review, a book review, um, and then, of course, a little recap from the week as well. So I've got a fun one today. It's actually some healthy lemonade for the summer. Uh, now you can drink it any time of the year as well, but uh, one that we've been making. So I want to share that with you. I have an herb of the week, uh, one that uh, came from a board game that my daughters and I were playing. So I want to share that, of course, and then uh, and some fun research. But before we get started, I want to just go over some recaps and reviews. Right now, going on over at Equal Life, we are our semi-annual sale. I just want to make sure that you know about that. That's an exciting time for us because as an integrative health practice and as a global functional medicine practice, uh, we try to bring you our absolute everyday low-cost products, protocols, and labs. And there's no doubt about that. Um, but twice a year, we love being able to say, listen, um, this is just for our community. Like, you're not going to see us advertising it. You just won't. What I do is I share it on the podcast, and we send it out to our email list, and we do special ones for SMS text. So if you're not already subscribed to SMS text, super simple to do. You can literally just go to equi.life forward slash text. That's it. Uh, you get a nice little offer there, and you get some insider-based deals. So this week, though, it's our last week up to 25% off store-wide, and yes, that even includes subscriptions. So check that out. Uh, it is our biggest savings of the year. You don't have to wait for another sale. This is it. It only happens uh, this week, and it happens uh, for Thanksgiving-based week as well. So uh, hopefully that's been enjoyable. I know many of you have partaken, and you've been tagging me on Instagram, which I love to see all of your different uh, reels and stories as well. So thank you for that. All right. A couple other things that people have been commenting and writing back in on is the hair loss article that I wrote. Now, I talked about this on my Instagram stories, if you follow me on Instagram, that I was putting together and really compiling a massive amount of research and data on how can we help women and men from their hair thinning out or them losing their hair or potentially even regrowing it. So um, the reason why this came about is I've been, this has been something that we have actually been doing in my practice since about 2012. So we've worked with thousands of men and women on hair loss, thinning hair, uh, dry, damaged, brittle hair. And I've been doing a bunch of podcasts on it. So hopefully you've been tuning into those as well at stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. Um, but what I did was I said, listen, I don't often do this anymore because I love being able to do video and I love being able to do a podcast on it. But let me write a full research article on all the things that we know work the best that I've seen work in my practice and believe it or not that I had to use on my own. Because last October, within just four weeks, I lost about 50%, like half, maybe more of all of the hair on the top of my head. It was wild and disturbing to say the least. Because usually... When you're losing your hair, especially for like a, a male with male pattern bald, balding, um, it, it's happening over years, right? It's so you gradually losing more and more hair. For me, it was all at once. It was within four weeks. So I share with you kind of my process um, going through it, uh, what I did, and also um, the... So there's one main reason why men lose their hair, but there's six more reasons why women lose their hair. And so I went through the whole process. I share with you all the different things that I did personally and that I've been using in my practice. And I get rid of all the things that are hearsay and may work, but don't really work. I share with you whether red light therapy works. I share with you whether PRP works. I share with you all the different things and, and um, conventional medicine as well as uh, natural health as well. So definitely check that out. It's uh, all free. You can just check out what I did and what I use in my practice at stephencabral.com forward slash hair dash loss. And I can link that up for you today as well. So all the links will be at stephencabral.com forward slash 2359. All right, last update before we get into uh, podcast recap and then product review is we now have close to 5,000 members in our new Aya Bowen by Equal Life app, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, like absolutely incredible. We literally just launched it um, six weeks ago or eight weeks, about eight weeks ago now. And so uh, I invite you to check out the Iobowen by Equal Life app. If you don't know what Iobowen is, uh, where it came from, just go to Stephen Cabral 
dot com forward slash Ayubowen. A Y U B O W A N. All right. And I'm going to link that up today as well at episode 2359. Uh, but it, it is the last health and wellness app that you will ever need. It really is. If you're looking for something that includes all of your meditations, all your binaural beats, uh, all your online workouts, all of your meal plans, all of your shopping lists, uh, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, we built it for the person that is saying, just tell me what I'm supposed to do. We gave you all of our protocols. We're going to be having guest experts every single month starting in September. Uh, it has all private um, HIPAA compliant face-to-face -face coaching. If you want to do it with your practitioner, we'll be onboarding all practitioners, not just the Equal Life team. We'll be onboarding all sorts of practitioners this fall. Uh, it is the one-stop shop. And so I'm super excited about it. Uh, you can check out more details, uh, whether you go to stephencabal.com forward slash Ayubowen, or you can go to equa.life uh, forward slash app as well. All right. Now the podcast recap of the week, how to end procrastination in seconds to get more done. That was a really fun show uh, because I am not immune to procrastination. I am one of the best rationalizers of procrastination in the world. I can tell you why it's so important for me to be uh, online, surfing the internet or my phone for an hour at a time. We all do it, so I share with you a really easy way to end that procrastination in seconds. All right, uh, Tuesday's show is two early warning health signs not to ignore. Uh, really, really important one, so hopefully you are checking that one out. Real important. Uh, the next one is how birth control or oral contra contraception negatively affects your body and mind. And then yesterday's show was a new pharma pill, so a new pharmaceutical pill replaces exercise. So that's apparently the future of exercise. You want to check it out. And that was all at stephencabral.com forward slash slash podcast, starting with episode 2355. All right. Now our product review this week. This one actually is a fun one. So this is uh, one that my family and I have made, but we got the recipe from a local place in Maine, basically a farm stand. And it's called Elderberry Lemonade. And it is one of the most refreshing things that I've ever drank. My daughters love it. And you're consuming something healthy at the same time. Now, um, what I want to share with you is this, is that I did a podcast on the herb of the week, elderberry, just a couple weeks back, and that was episode 2345. So you can check out all the benefits of elderberry, basically one of the most potent antioxidants. You know, that dark purple color is always a super high antioxidant, but can help with so much. And one of its most important characteristics is how it boosts the immune system. So it is one of those things that a low dose that you can really use any time that you'd like. So what we did, and I'm going to share with the exact recipe, is, and I'm, I'll link these up for you today, but you can make an elderberry tea. So you can actually get loose, um, dried leaves, we'll say, of the elderberry, um, or you can just get a bag of the powder, your choice. And what you do is you can actually just mix it with 16 ounces of water. Now, we did more, so I just want to share with you the exact recipe that we did, all right? So that's probably the easiest uh, thing that I can share with you. We used two whole squeezed lemons in this. So we have one of those lemon pressers. You're probably familiar with them. I've reviewed it before in the podcast, but put a lemon or lime in there. So you can make this with lime as well if you wanted to. But we did lemon. So we squeezed it in. We had our daughters doing it too. They got to join in and both halves, right? So you cut it in half, you squeeze each half. We did that twice. So two whole lemons. Then we put in three tea bags of the elderberry tea. Now we brewed that separately. So we brewed that hot. And what we did was we just made a concentrate. So just brewed it uh, with three tea bags inside of probably a 12 ounce tea mug. Um, let that brew for, we kept those tea bags in there for about an hour for at least 40 minutes. Then we tossed those and by then it was cool. We added that to our big mason jar. We have a 32 ounce mason jar. And then what we did from there is we added a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, so just a little cinnamon. Then we added a fourth of a teaspoon of clove powder. Both of those were organic. And then we added in one teaspoon of raw local wildflower honey. Now, I can tell you for sure, we started at one teaspoon, but I know my daughter's added another teaspoon of raw uh, wild local flower honey. So that's just to sweeten however sweet you like it. So now, basically, we had our organic lemons. We had our um, wild or clean organic elderberry tea bags. We had our cinnamon powder. We had our clove powder. And then we just had some wild 
So Maine, we had local wildflower honey, but you could also use Manuka honey. You could even use a little maple syrup if you wanted as well. So what I like to do is make that in a big, again, 32 ounce mason jar. That's the dosage that I did. And then just shake that up. And if you shake it for about 30 seconds, everything mixes really, really nice. Now, after that, what I also did was I filled up mason jars with ice. And the ice, when I pour it on top, will actually then begin to dilute it a little bit more. So you can dilute this or make it as strong as you want. I'm telling you right now, it's absolutely delicious. And since I'm trying to do less alcohol this summer, I could have a drink like that at night, and it makes it feel like I'm having a drink, um, but of course, uh, with none of the alcohol. And sometimes I will actually take that um, elderberry tea and just do a 50-50 with some sparkling water. So I'll do 50% sparkling water and then 50% of that elderberry lemonade, uh, and it's absolutely delicious. So I will link that up again today at stephencabral.com forward slash 2359. All right, our herb of the week is chamomile. So you know, we just chatted about uh, elderberry a couple weeks ago. Well, today is all about chamomile. Now, many of you have heard about chamomile before, but always tied to sleep. And yes, it has been clinically studied that if you have a cup of chamomile tea, you could feel a little bit more drowsy, a little bit more sleepy. And so I absolutely do recommend it if you're looking for a getting rid of your desserts after dinner. Uh, again, the very best time that you can skip food that not eat is after dinner. Like if you want one time that you don't want, that you want to start your fast, it is absolutely after dinner. Uh, there is no benefit really unless you're dealing with some hypoglycemia to eating before bed. It's going to hurt your deep sleep. It's going to hurt your REM sleep. Uh, it'll raise your heart rate. It'll lower your HRV. So, but but I've talked about that on other shows. Uh, what I want to share with you is this, is that chamomile, besides improving your sleep, helping you get to sleep faster and hopefully in a deeper sleep, uh, it could also be good for people with, uh, I would say, nervous-based digestion. I've talked about this a few times. But there are some people because they hold a lot of anxiety or they hold a lot of tension, a lot of stress, that for them, they can sometimes get bloated and gassy, and it has direct correlations, though, to their levels of stress. Well, should you feel any of that, or even sometimes a little stomach acidity due to that, you may want to try a cup of chamomile tea before your meal or with your meal. Uh, I won't go too deep on this, because you know that on this podcast, we never talk about curing disease, treating disease, diagnosing disease, or making any disease claims, right? That's, that's only in the realm of conventional medicine. But what I will share with you is that there are a number of studies right now that are using chamomile for breast cancer, uh, colon cancer, skin cancer, prostate cancer, and uterine cancer. Um, so just keep in mind, the studies are done with people that drank just just one cup of chamomile tea two to six times per week. And they were far less likely to develop things like thyroid cancer as well. So really, really important. Again, um, not providing any disease claims here, but just always keep in mind all these people out there saying like, oh, there's no proof that natural health works. Of course there is. You can look up any single herb that you want. Herbs are medicine. And, uh, and they were given to us uh, to be able to use as such. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll go over these last couple because they're not what I would necessarily pick first, but uh, real benefits with chamomile tea and lowering blood sugar and potentially with cardiovascular risk as well. You'll find that with a lot of people, uh, or I should say with a lot of herbs as well, those herbs and their antioxidants um, helping a lot with uh, regulating uh, or supporting, I should say, healthy levels of blood pressure and uh, cardiovascular conditions, including LDL cholesterol. Uh, I already talked a little bit about the anxiety aspect, the overwhelm, the stress aspect may help with that, may help with skin health, may help with bone loss as well, and overall immunity. So if you're looking for a nice tea to try before bed, you want something different, grab yourself an organic chamomile tea. And uh, again, the two brands of tea that I typically always recommend are traditional medicinals and organic India. All right, last part of the show today is our research. So I want to share with you two fun ones, actually. Um, I'm going to save the pet one for last. The first one is just wild research. That's why like, I love new technology. I might, I might sometimes talk negatively about it sometimes, but it's only because I want to look at things from an unbiased perspective. But this is really interesting. I'm going to share with you why I, I share, I'm sharing this in the first place. All right, so this is published in ACS Applied Materials and Interfaces. I know it sounds kind of strange. Uh, research done out of Purdue University, West Lafayette, uh, Indiana. And it's scientists have developed... A paint so white that it holds the Guinness World Record for the whitest paint. White paint reflects sunlight and deflects heat. A 1,000-square-foot roof 
coated in this paint had a cooling effect more powerful than the average home air conditioning unit. I mean, that, that to me is tremendous. So why would I share this with you? Well, there's so many people out there who could reduce electricity, reduce their electrical bills, and cool their house to a much greater degree, giving them a better overall quality of life by simply painting their roof the whitest of all whites that these uh, researchers have done. So what I'm actually going to do, because the, the paper that I'm holding right here doesn't actually name the white paint that they're using, uh, I'm actually going to link it up here for you to see if it's uh, available right now for commercial use, because this uh, was just published about six weeks ago. All right? I'll link that up at 2359. And the last one is this, is CBD uh, essentially is approved for pets, especially for dogs. So I've been using CBD with my dog now for about five years or six years or so. And I don't use it all the time. But again, I can't provide any uh, medical treatment plans as a veterinarian because I'm not one. But I can tell you, uh, the research is very strong with both humans and animals and especially dogs. So what I wanted to do is just give you the, re the ways that I use it with my French bulldog, Moose. So I've always used it if he's feeling anxious, if he's feeling overwhelmed, if he's panting, which I can tell it's one of the giveaways, if there's a lot of people around. So he has just never done well with a lot of little kids running around in his space, right? It's kind of like his space. He's, what are all these little kids doing here? And he starts to just get anxious and like he just paces around. So we give him a little CBD. We use a dropper. I'm going to share with you what I do in just a moment because it's easy to dose. And that's the important thing is because they're, they're not as big as adults, right? So you want to dose more like a child and I'll share with you in just a moment. Um, <clears throat> so anxiety is a big one. The other one is sleep. So if he's in a new location, let's say he's staying with my parents or so for the weekend, all right, my parents know to give him this specific amount of CBD. You can use it with pain. You can use it with inflammation. Um, there's a lot of reasons why you could use CBD, which is cannabinoids, with an animal. So what I'm going to do is just share with you, again, you're always going to choose if it's the right product to use for your dog or your animal as well. But the um, dosage, which I agree with, so I was actually looking, I'm like, is there a dosage? Because I was dosing it um, more how I would dose for body weight for a human. And CBD, uh, a safe rule of thumb, they say, this is out of Canine Journal, uh, is 0.2 milligrams of CBD per pound. Um, so it's, it's pretty easy math, right? So if your dog weighs 50 pounds, you're just going to multiply by uh, 0.2 milligrams, so 50 times 0.2 two, and we're going to get 10 milligrams, right? So my dog weighs about 25 pounds. So he's going to get about five milligrams of CBD, which is almost exactly what I give him. I, so you always want to start with less with children or um, pets. And so I started him at five and he'll use between five and 10 milligrams. The way that I do it is always with a liquid dropper. So um, I could give him a little treat if I wanted to, whatever, and I'll just put it in his dog bowl and I'll put the CBD dropper right on it. So um, the dropper is 25 milligrams that I use. And all I do is give him a quarter basically of that dropper. You can always use more so that's not an issue. And it should kick in as long as they haven't just eaten, it should kick in with about 20, 30 minutes. So you know, 30 minutes later, you could give them a little bit more if needed and you felt it was right for you. Uh, the CBD that I use, of course, is the equal Equilibrium CBD. You can find that at equilibriumcbd.com. We hope one day to have that over on Equal Life, but that's not up to us. That's up to the banks and the powers that be, of course. So uh, hopefully that's helpful. Again, this is, uh, I always try to share with you what I do in my life, what I do in my practice. We've just worked with hundreds of thousands of people. We just have seen so much that does work, and I want to try to pass that along to you. Thank you so much, as always, for another great week here on the Cabral Concept. I love that we're listening, that we're doing this together, that you're providing your feedback, that I'm trying to do shows that matter to you. So as always, do feel free to share this show with anyone you believe it could serve. And tomorrow, I'll be back answering your questions on our Cabral House calls. Take care. Have an amazing weekend.